watching this, it's probably Saturday. This isn't like my typical video that I usually do. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing my makeup. I'm answering a Q&A that I got from a couple of you guys off of Instagram and my Twitter. So, I'm pretty excited and some of these questions are very interesting. Let's just see where this goes. These are like really silly questions and really serious questions at the same time. <laughs> Worst time you ever farted? I was in second grade. I was one of those little kids that did bad stuff and their mom had to come and sit and watch them in the class. You need to leave? No, bitch! So that was me. So we were all taking this test. It was completely silent. I sneezed and farted at the same time and everybody in the classroom heard it. Little class clown. <laughs> We sat there laughing. I don't tell those people that pee a little bit when they sneeze. My heart goes out to you, honestly. How do you live cosmetology? My family background is in the medical field. I tried to do that. I was actually a firefighter explorer. I actually took an EMT class, but I figured out that it wasn't for me. I've always been good at hair and makeup. Oh my god, I have the hiccups now. Oh, my grandma actually, when I was like six, was like, here, take the curling iron, play with it. Do something. Taught myself everything that I know. My mom used to buy me this little doll head. Taught myself how to braid hair. I'm gonna finish cosmetology. Five year goal is to have my own hair and makeup salon. You guys get to watch me on my freaking journey. Give it a couple years and I'll be making a video from my own fucking hair and makeup salon. Enough of the cushy shit. Most bizarre place you have ever seen. I don't go to many bizarre places. Bizarre place. What kind of question? I'm tripping, I can't think of one. So guess what? We're skipping to the next question. Biggest wardrobe malfunction. I was at this runway shoot. They had us do fittings before the day of the runway show. At a fitting, they fit you specifically to clothes that fit you. Me being a little tiny bit chunkier than most of the girls that were there, I got the fucking dress that was the highlight of the whole show because it fit me perfectly. But I was so fucking excited. It was this cute little two-piece. I go into my walk. I come backstage, I rip off my clothes, and I'm like, all right, let's do this. Go to get my next piece of clothing, which was the one that was the highlight of the whole night. It wasn't there. I look over, the chick that's about to go out on the runway, she has my dress on. What the fuck? What? Is why she really put on my dress? I didn't have anything else to wear because that was our fitting. Those clothes were fit to us, so everything else was there did not fit me. I put on this tight ass dress, I could barely fucking walk in it. Fucking, I did my shit. You know exactly who the fuck you are, bro. Taking my dress, I hope you see this. This was my first wow. runway show too. That is something you never forget. And my dress was dope. You're lucky. Not to mention at the end of that show, somebody stepped on my foot in stilettos. Craziest thing you ever ate. Okay, so I went on a cruise. I remember it to a T because it is forever burned in my brain. We were at dinner and they had all this gourmet shit all over the table, all of this cool stuff I didn't know how to pronounce. Yeah, escargot, I probably said it wrong. It fucking snail. Snail. My grandma, the G that she is, freaking challenged me to eating snail. Yeah pressured me into eating snail. So I was like, all right, let's fucking, let's do this. Ain't no bitch. <laughs> I'll eat a snail. Listen, I am a very visual eater. If something doesn't look good, I'm not gonna eat it. If something in texture doesn't look good, I'm not gonna freaking eat it. They bring out the snail. It looks disgusting. I don't know why anyone would want to eat this. My grandma ate it. It was my turn to eat it and I'm all right, all right. I'll fucking eat it. My grandma can eat it. I I got this. Trying to eat this snail, right? And my mom's across the table from me making barfing noises as I'm trying to eat this snail. I'm like, mom, come on. Seriously, I'm not gonna eat the snail with you doing that shit. I'm not gonna eat it. But, uh, long story short, I ended up fucking eating it. I, I just spit that shit out. That's the weirdest thing that I've ever eaten and I don't fucking plan on eating snail ever again. <laughs> Next question. What hobbies did you do growing up? So I played basketball for three years. I played volleyball in high school. Girl Scouts for five years, which is pretty dope. My freaking troop was the shit. We went to Disneyland on charter buses, sold the most cookies, and it was mostly because of me. <laughs> Girl Scouts was dope. What made you get into modeling? I actually started modeling when I was in high school. Interesting 
interestingly, interestingly, I'm not gonna fucking say it. What's a bad habit that you have? I bite my nails like crazy and I try to keep my acrylics on. What? I keep them on and it's time to get a fill or it's time for them to come off and I don't go get them redone or I don't go get them filled. But I bite my nails off. I don't know how you bitches do it, but I can't fucking do it. I try. When I was smaller, my mom actually used to put band-aid on my fingers. But I bit them anyway. She used to put um, triple antibiotic ointment on them so it would taste disgusting. She used to put hot sauce on them and that explains why I love hot sauce now. This is a habit I've had since I was able to stick my fingers in my mouth. <laughs> Next question. Why did you move from Cali? The first time I moved from Cali was from San Diego to Florida and that shit was... The beach was beautiful. The overall experience was... Uh, if you are from California, no other beach is gonna be like California beaches. There's just a vibe about California that you can't get anywhere else. Vegas, <laughs> it was the coolest thing ever. I could see myself moving out towards LA more. I am not leaving California ever again. Who am I gonna read this? I'm... Most awkward situation. Um. Time, I was having sex and I forgot the dude's name but actually ended up becoming boyfriend and girlfriend an excuse for the fact that I forgot his name skip to the next question um do you like popping other people's pimples yes I kind of do I like to take care of my face a lot when I see pimples on other people's faces I'm like Ooh, let me pop it let me pop it real quick my little brother had this big old pimple on his face like a few weeks ago and it was ready to be popped so i was like come here he wouldn't let me pop it the next question have you ever had your wig ripped off i fortunately have never had my wig ripped off just due to the fact that i sold i sold my wig down most girls don't sew their shit down and it gets blown off by a freaking gust of wind or they get in a fight and that shit's ripped off that's not me <laughs> Tight and tight as fuck. To me, that's the most embarrassing thing that you can ever have happen to you. Your wig get ripped off or blown off. Do you follow the five second rule with food? Yes. Yes and no. It depends on where I'm at. If I'm in my fucking room and I drop a chip on the floor, I'm gonna eat it because my room is clean. And I know where my feet have been. If I drop something on the floor in a movie theater, it's not going anywhere near my mouth. If I dropped it outside, no, I wouldn't pick it back up and eat it. That's pretty nasty. There's this virus going around. What is it? The coronavirus? The coronavirus? Like, people are dying in China. Somebody out here has it. There's no way in hell. But now that I think about it, I'm like, geez, what are you thinking? Oh my god. How long does it take you to do your makeup? When I first started doing makeup, I would take literally two hours to do the simplest look. And that was because I didn't have my techniques down. I didn't know how the fuck to do this, I, didn't, I was just guessing, maybe this, maybe you put this here, maybe, maybe this, I don't know, I don't know. But I figured it out, because clearly, right? Now I can do a simple look in no longer than 20 minutes, because I know my routines, I know my techniques now, so I mean I could just slap that shit on real quick. If it's a more detailed look, it's going to take me a little bit longer. Practice makes perfect. There's days where I do my makeup. I don't even be going anywhere. I'll just fucking do my makeup for the fun of it. That's how I practice. You know, every time you fucking do your makeup, you learn something new. I think. All the best are made, right? And I just like to look good all the time. So, oh yeah. <laughs> if anything else is not done, my eyebrows will be done. If you guys want to see me do more questions or if you think like right now at the end of this video, a question pops into your head and email me email me because this is the freaking dinosaur days message me on instagram message me on twitter message me on my photography instagram my legs my legs are my legs my legs i fell asleep because i was sitting on top of them oh that shit hurt